Hey, what's going on out there? Welcome to Fearless Friday. I want to chat with you guys about a topic that took me a little bit of time to get, but when I got it, it literally changed how my approaches went with women. And I want to share this with you guys because I feel like a lot of you guys might have questions about this and might be a little bit confused about the topic. And that topic is grounding, right? So this video is a demystification of grounding, what it actually feels like to be grounding. How do you know if you're being grounded? Okay. So let's go ahead and jump into the topic. Now, it took me a little bit to understand what grounding was. I don't know why it took me so long, but when I finally got it, I got it and I never forgot it. <laughs> but grounding essentially is in relation to approaching and in your own body, taking that chaotic energy that you're getting when you're stopping somebody, you're stopping an, an attractive woman, a girl who's a 10, a 10 out of 10 to you, and taking all that chaos in your body, all that nervousness, all that anxiety, all that fear that you're feeling as you're standing in front of her, you know, the one that pushes you up into your head and makes you think obsessively, think about the next thing to say versus being present with her, grounding her out, grounding yourself out and enjoying the interaction, um, taking all that energy and then directing it down through your legs into the ground. So generally what happens is that when you are approaching a girl who's high tension for you, you will have the tendency to get nervous, right? You'll have the tendency to, to have some anxiety. Fear is gonna rise and it's gonna, right, that energy in your body is gonna come upward, right? Instead of going downward. Now you want it to go downward, not only to ground her out, but you wanna ground yourself out, right? Because if all that chaos is going on, you're never gonna ever be able to think clearly, but you also are never gonna be able to be truly present with this girl, looking into her eyes, talking to her, taking her energy in, but also giving her good energy that she can receive and enjoy as well. So that's why it's very important to take that energy and, and, and ground it somewhere. Brian loves to use the analogy of a lightning rod, right? Which is taking electricity from the sky, big metal lightning rod, grounding all that electricity down into the earth, right? Um, because lightning is chaotic until it hits the rod, the rod grounds it out. No different than when you're in interaction with a girl and all that chaos is going on in your chest, you're up in your head, you have tightness in your chest like a knot, you have tightness in your gut like a knot, and all that energy is just kind of either going up or it's stuck and it's stagnating. So how do you ground yourself? Well, what I like to do is I like to kind of lean on my left leg. Um, and what I look for is just a surge, a tinge of energy running up the back of my legs, my calves, my back of my ankles, my hamstring uh, coming up from my heels. So I like to lean on my left leg a little bit until I get that surge of energy running up. And what I notice is that the surge of energy is starting to come up to my lower back, uh, especially my lower spine, the base of my spine, I start to feel it there. Then I start to feel it rise up the back uh, even higher. And it starts to feel really nice and warm and tingly. Now, when I first started doing this stuff, it didn't feel like that. It felt like it was a rush of energy way too fast and I didn't like the way it felt. So I would always push it away um, because it felt uncomfortable. I didn't understand that that's what grounding was. Uh, you know, Brian had told me you know, that was the practice to do. So when I started to do it more and to start to accept it, what I started to realize was that uncomfortable feeling started to actually become really pleasurable. And what you start to realize is that that energy running up the backs of your legs are, is actually feeding your body, right? It's actually making you, or it's actually giving you like food for your body, right? It's, it's nourishing to you if you don't run from it. So I like to lean on my, either my left leg or my right leg and practice it. Now, if you're at home right now, what you could do is just kind of lean on your left leg. If you can stand up or sit down and do it, lean on your left leg and just notice how when you're kind of planting that foot into the ground, notice what's coming up the back of your ankles. Do you notice a surge of energy or the back of your calves, your hamstrings? You now, if you're feeling a little bit of something back there, then that's probably the energy kicking up. And notice how as you start to feel more of it, it starts to kind of amplify and get a little bit bigger and maybe it shoots up even farther up your back. And that's what you want to feel over time. So if you're in an interaction with a woman and let's say you hit her with one of those really powerful um, openers, a really good compliment, a really nice, genuine one, like we talked in last week's video, which if you haven't go back and watch that video, it's a really powerful video on how to speak your truth and give a compliment from that place that really has a heart uh, really has a genuine impact on a woman and makes her really want to talk to you. Um, if you hit her with one of those and let's say she gets really feminine and chaotic and she really loves that compliment, you're going to need to be able to ground that out, right? Because that's a lot of chaos coming from a woman, uh, at least expression wise. Women are the feminine in this expression, the masculine in this grounding, right? So in order to really have an effect right after you deliver that type of compliment, you're going to need to ground yourself out and enjoy that. Enjoy her being expressive and enjoying your compliment, right? Feel your leg, ground it out. Feel that enjoyment of pleasure in your body as you're talking to her and don't leave it. Hold on to it the whole interaction, right? 
and just watch her turn more feminine as you start to ground more and feel more into your legs. She'll get more expressive. She'll start to get a little more curious about you. And as you start to enjoy your body, maybe you might smirk or smile a little bit because you're enjoying yourself so much. But you're also taking her in and feeling her energy run down your body as well. Notice that she starts to flirt with you a little bit, right? She might play with her hair. She might ask you, what are you, what are you smirking at? What are you smiling at over there? And that's all flirtation, right? That's all her feminine energy kicking on because she's responding to your masculine, which is polarizing her at that particular moment. Now, I challenge you guys this weekend to go out and stop 10 people a day. Now, if 10 is too much for you, stop two to five people a day. But I want you to get in front of enough people to where you can actually practice this. Now, it doesn't have to be a direct, it doesn't have to be a direct on a woman. It could just be something indirect, like asking for time and directions, if that triggers you and brings up your stuff. So go out there, ask for time, ask for directions. But I want you to do is take your journal with you. Journal where your energy is in each interaction. What did you notice? Well, I noticed my energy rising up in my chest and going up into my head. I was thinking about what to say. I couldn't ground myself. Then, then go out and do another one and then focus on the bottoms of your feet and then the back of your calves and your ankles. Notice what's there when you ground on that left or right leg. But like, okay, cool. Well, I did an interaction and I noticed that surge of energy rising up the back of my legs as I was talking and it started to become pretty enjoyable. And I was noticing that as I felt it, my connection with the person got a lot more solid and a lot more clear. So write all these things down so that you know you're getting it and you can start to see your own growth because if you can't see your own growth, then it's gonna make you wanna stagnate later or make you wanna give up later. Um, this stuff works and I can't, I can't explain the effect that it has on women, but it is insane um, how they respond to this type of stuff, okay? So go out there, do 10 a day if you can for the next three days. Come back, put in the comments how the stuff is working for you. Let us know what you're seeing, what you're noticing, if it's shifting, if it's helping you. I saw the comment on the comments on last week's video and they were all awesome. You guys are actually taking what I'm putting in these videos and going out and practicing it. And you guys are seeing good results. And I want to keep going down that road and give you guys more and more and more stuff that I learned doing this work. So um, I love that it's helping you guys and I want to see your growth, your progress. So if you can, even put your journal entries down in the comments below, okay? Now with that said, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you can keep getting the videos that come up weekly uh, for you guys, okay? And with that said, remember, only the confident really live.